Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and you can ask me anything. Go ahead. I'll wait. Just like I did last week and the week before that, a lot of you thought I was joking. You thought it was just a one-off, but I'm seriously aiming to AMA every week for you so that I can give you what you want. But to better understand what it is you might want, I am requesting that you ask me anything. So, go ahead. I'll wait. Let me go ahead and turn to the topics that I shared with a certain subset of our community this week. For those who still want my tech opinions, how to preserve vintage electronics was a post. Should tech companies have a conscience was another video I did. Actually, no, that wasn't a video. It was an audio recording. Uh, then, is free speech an internet right? I answered my perspective. Then, how Google keeps failing users, and why I ignore most gadget news. Those uh, posts were exclusives to those who support me on chrisperillo.com. And for fellow creators or entrepreneurs, business owners, I shared content crowdfunding tips, why smaller is bigger was a topic I dived into, when it's okay to avoid decisions, how to fail better, do your followers want to know the truth was a question I answered, and could live streaming help you? Those are questions that I answered specifically for those who are supporting us on creatoradvocate.com. So now that I've run through a list of the things that I've already addressed this week, uh, I'm going to address a question that was asked this past week by one of you in the comments section. And it was a legitimate question. I think it was a solid question. I, I really like answering questions that uh, require me to think and process and not just you know respond after searching the web for a result. The question was quite simply, what do I do with my old gadgets, with my old hardware, with my old devices or uh, uh, pieces of technology that I no longer use? And the answer is uh, quite simple. Uh, I get rid of a lot of that stuff because I, I don't want it. And it's not that I didn't want it when I got it. It's just that I am more of a tech minimalist which may surprise some of you, given that you may have come to understand me under false pretenses, believing that uh, you know I, I see technology the way that you might. And I'm not taking away from your perspective at all. I mean, everything I'm talking about is my experience. It's all I have. You can't disagree with my experience. Um, the, the idea, though, that I need to flood my life with technology, I think would be, for me, and I think for a lot of people, a very silly idea. Because you don't need more than a few tools in your life to complete the tasks that you may need to complete. I'm actually someone who looks to uh, accomplish goals uh, with the least amount of hurdles. I'm someone who doesn't look for uh, a myriad of solutions when only one would suffice. I'm not someone who is considered a gearhead. I am an atypical uh, person in my position given that I don't really like gadgets. Uh, I, I'm also not into sports, don't really care about cars or anything that other people may believe I should like because I have a penis. Uh, I, I like what I like, just like you like what you like. And I'm, again, not taking away from what it is that you like. You're free to like whatever you like, and sometimes you can't even control what it is you like. But with gadgets, once they've served their purpose, and I'm no longer using them, if I see absolutely no need for them, if they're just definitively outmoded, and, and what I'm saying with that is that technology tends to be outdated pretty quickly. I mean, think about every gadget you have right now. Five years from now, I would be surprised if you had the same hardware around you. Now, there are certainly exceptions to that rule, but by and large, um, I, I don't look to get a tool that's a temporary fix when I pick up a piece of technology. And I, I see technology as a, a means to an end. It, it's not it, the gadget, it's what the gadget does. And I, I just don't really see a need to hold on to things that I don't want. And I generally don't want an excess amount of gadgetry. It just takes up space. I, I think a lot of people out there probably have the same situation uh, where uh, you've discarded old technology and have replaced it. Technology was designed to be replaced. That's its role. Uh, 
generally speaking. I mean, inevitably, if you go to someone's house and they've got a computer that's 20 years old, would you say it's in need of an upgrade? Possibly. Uh, it may still work. That is possible as well. Uh, but I, I guess I, I just kind of had a, a reckoning uh, at, at one point where I kind of woke up and realized I've got a basket full of junk. And it was all technology. It was just junk. And, and I'm going to be even more honest with you right now, and this is probably going to hurt some people's feelings, but please don't take this personally. It was probably junk when I first got it, too. Now, I know it's kind of weird that some people would take that personally, but believe it or not, some people do. Uh, and so I'm, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings when I talk about how I believe that 98% of the consumer electronics industry is a waste. Most of it is junk. It's easily discarded, easily forgotten. It doesn't even work well out of the box. And, and when, when you are spending money on something, it's, it's usually for a reason. Uh, you know, you're buying a product because you're hoping it's going to enable you to do something. Right? Unless you're, you know, one of those who buys something simply because, I mean, I'm talking specifically a tool. Uh, you're, you're buying a piece of technology simply because it looks the way it does. Okay, I'm, I'm not, you know, going to say that you're wrong for doing that. That's your choice. But, um, you know, I, again, I see these things as a means to an end. And, and once a, a piece of technology has outlived its usefulness, I'm good. I, I don't need it around. I, you know, I don't want it. I, 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 I really don't. And, and I'm very lucky in the sense that for having that position, it's actually kept me from making a lot of uh, mistakes, I believe. Um, there are those who do turn to me for my advice in terms of their technology choices or which technology choices they may make. But if I was someone, just think about this for one moment, especially if you, you happen to have a different mindset. If I was something, say if I was something, boy, this is something. Uh, if I was someone who loved every single piece of technology that came along, could you trust my opinion? If I liked it, I just liked it outright. Because it's, it's technology, it's awesome. That's usually not how it works. Moreover, it's disingenuous. Uh, you can't necessarily like everything about technology. Um, and certainly... You should be very careful about trusting those who do. Who j they just like everything. Oh, it's technology, therefore it's awesome. And, and you got to be careful about just trusting those who whose opinion you happen to agree with as well, because sometimes the, an alternative point of view can be a valid point of view and, and could even give you pause to reflect upon your own choices. So I I just I, I don't like everything simply because it's tech. It, oh, okay, like tech is in everything these days. It's so pervasive. It's a commodity. Oh. Oh look! Oh, oh, oh look! It's it's tech. I, I don't. I've never. I've never done that. Believe it or not, I never have. Um, more more. You know. Uh, you know. Uh, you know. I guess uh, experience uh, for, for me to share with you in relation to why I get rid of a lot of gadgets, specifically old gadgets, and being a tech minimalist. Honestly, people are shocked uh, when when they get to know me on a personal level, like. Wow, I thought you, I'm like, you thought wrong. I, I don't know where you got that idea, but I don't want a lot of computers. I don't want a lot of technology. I just don't. Minimalist. The fewer technology uh, products that I have to deal with, the happier I am. That's the thing. The more tech I had in my life, uh, it, 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 the, the, the more stressful it got. I don't want to be tech support for the rest of my life. Uh, that's that's not my interest at all. It's not not what I want to do. I don't want to deal with a, a series of problems. And that is ultimately what a, a lot of uh, technology is. It's just a series of problems, an expensive series of problems. And the more you place on top of one problem, the bigger the problems get. Those problems compound. Um, you know, I, I've i never been a hardware guy. Now, I, I've said this so many times. I, I should just get a t-shirt with that printed on it. I'm not a hardware guy. But instead, you know, I, I do have to say that I am a part of the resistance. I am. I'm very proud about that. Um, the, uh, uh, the, the idea, though, that I was ever into gadgets is just... It's, it's, a, it's, it's a, a misnomer. It, it's, it's not accurate. 
I've always been into software, way more into software. And I've seen so many great possibilities for a good product being produced that were utter failures because the software was abysmal. If it doesn't have a, a decent software experience, it's not worth using. Um, if, if the hardware itself is, is not something that, uh, you know, effectively fits me or my lifestyle or you or your lifestyle or you and your lifestyle, I, I don't know why you would want to adopt it. Um, you know, I, I just don't want to spend my resources on something that's inevitably going to be forgotten, discarded, replaced. I just, it's not, it's not, it, I, it's not my thing. I just, I don't want that in my life. I don't want a lot of gadgets in my life. I've been lucky in the sense that I have been able to review a lot of gadgets, so it's not even, I'm not willing to spend my resources on it because in many cases, my time is a resource. And I, I've, I've tried like review units that have been offered. I'm like, oh, that might be interesting. I tried, I'm like, this is just, I don't even want to do any, I don't even want to tweet about this. I don't even waste 140 characters of my life on this product. It is so bad. Oh, I could save people the time, but then, of course, when I talk about something that they love as so, in, in a way that I'm explaining my experience and I think it's a bad thing, then I'm under attack, not the product itself, or not, you know, the fact that I believe something different than they might believe, but it just, it creates, you know, a, 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 a negative space, and I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do that, um... So I, I, I would say that 98% of the offers that I get in, in relation to, hey, we've got a new keyboard, we've got a new, a new smartphone, a new Bluetooth speaker, a new battery pack, a new... I just, I say no. I, I, I don't even respond. Because, it, I mean, and it's not like, you know, they're flooding in, you know, left and right. But it, it happens on a frequent basis. I would say at least a few times a day. Um, and I just, I don't want it because then it just piles up and then it becomes something that I don't want. And then I have to figure out how I'm going to get rid of it. So it's not that I necessarily look to just chucking an old product. I will very often donate the product. Then you might say, why don't you do a giveaway? Well, number one, I don't think you're, you're quite familiar with how laws, uh, you know, need to be adhered to in relation to giveaways. I mean, it's always fun to, to, to receive something, but you know, I, I, you know, don't really have the resources to pull together what it needs to, what I would need to pull together to do giveaways. Moreover, I think giveaways more often than not attract the wrong person. And instead of you valuing what it is that I want to give you on a regular basis for free or otherwise, uh, that's the giveaway, right? You know, this, the, the, the time that I'm giving to you, if I get, if I said, if I said, oh, I don't want this anymore and I'm just going to give it away. If someone comes along just for that giveaway, I'm not showing that members of my active community are the ones that are being valued. And it, it, I, 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 so I, I, I'm not into the giveaway thing. I'm not. I think it attracts the wrong person, and I think, unfortunately, it creates more animosity than it's worth. So I will often donate it to um, local causes. Um, and, of course, if it's absolute junk, like, you know, I'll, I'll chuck it. Like, it's, 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 it's already broken. It's, it doesn't work anymore. It's, it's, I'll recycle it. Eh, you gotta be careful. Uh, the uh, uh, the other thing I, I might do is is sell uh, old stuff it, that I might have had. Um, but like I said, ninety eight percent of the things you just can't even give away. Sometimes, <laughs> seriously, have you ever tried to sell an old piece of technology? Ain't easy uh, because they're worthless. It's like they're they're they have an even worse resale value than uh, an automobile, which is another reason why I don't want to ever own an automobile. Uh, I think they are by and large a waste of money. Um, that's my perspective. The, uh, uh, but, but uh, as soon as you drive it off the lot, so to speak, they're worth half as much. I think you lose 75% of the value of a piece of technology the moment you use it. Um, so there are, if, if there is a value in the marketplace for, for an older technology, yeah, sure. I'll sell it to try to recoup costs, but by and large, a, I don't pick up technology that frequently, uh, certainly not any new technologies and, and, and B, I, I'm, I'm pretty well served by that. Um, and, you know, as always, there are exceptions to the rule, but uh, that's pretty much, you know, my perspective and what I do with old gadgets and old technology. I, I want to live with less tech around me, not more. Uh, I've been happier for making that decision, not, you know, uh, the opposite of happiness, sadness. Um, everybody's had a different experience. Everybody's, you know, you know, from a different position. So please keep asking questions. There were only just a handful of y'all who asked a question last week. I've got a, a good one that I'm going to address next week that I'm really excited about. Um, don't want to give it away. Don't want to issue any spoilers. Just wait. Just you wait. And if you want me to answer a different question, all you got to do is ask it. It's really simple to do. But just understand, I love you and I appreciate you.
At this point, I'm going to say, may the force be with you.